Okay, so punta tayo dito sa space uh, mean speed. So it is also called as the harmonic mean speed. So it is the average uh, speed of a vehicle occupying a given length of road at a specific time of travel. So yung formula niya is just distance equals velocity times time. So for a given time of travel, so bali maraming time yung binigay. No? So bali nagre-record ka and then time yung kinukuha mo. So, para makuha mo yung space mean speed, yung velocity. So, it's just the distance over yung average ng time. Pero pag given is yung distance is, yung average naman yung distance. So, distance, average distance divided by the time. Pero pag yung given is yung spot speed, so bali yung spot speed kasi is for individual yan na vehicle. Na? So, bali yung speed ng vehicle yung kinocompute mo. Ah, bali yung nire-record mo. So it's just the number of vehicles divided by the space mean speed all over yung summation ng 1 over yung spot speed. Okay? So parang kinukuha mo lang yung average lang din nung ano, pero harmonic siya, ano? Kaya nga tinatawag siyang harmonic mean. So bali naka-reciprocal siya. Anyway, so ito lang yung formula na gagamitin natin. So tandaan niyo na lang yan. And then we have also the time means speed, yung u, or it is also called as the spot speed. Okay? It is the arith arithmetic mean of the speed of the vehicles passing a point during a given interval. So, pag sinabi natin arithmetic, so it's just the summation of individual spot speed divided by the number of uh, spot speed, no? yung number of vehicles. And then we have also the flow rate or the flow volume. Or uh, flow or volume of the traffic, yung Q. It is the number of vehicles passing a point during a specific, specified period of time of often referred to us as the volume when, when expressed in vehicles per hour. Okay, so it's just N. So from the unit itself, N is the number of vehicles and R is in time. So, Q is just the number of vehicles divided by the time. We have also the density of traffic. It is just the number of vehicles per unit length. So, depende kung vehicles per kilometer or vehicles per miles. Basta number of vehicles siya per unit. So, it is just the number of vehicles divided by the distance or yung length ng segment natin. So, may, may relationship yung density, yung spot speed, tsaka yung flow rate. So, ito yun, na So, yung Q is just uh, K. So, yung flow rate is just equivalent to the density times the spot speed. Okay? So, tandaan nyo na lang ito. So, kunting formula lang. Na? So, actually, maraming formula sa traffic. So, seldom ito lang yung... Uh, minsan lumalabas na. So, yan, no? Okay, so kung may kita mo yan, no? Um, bali, kung may simplify mo yan, cross multiply mo, so meron kang ND, NT, U, so cancel out yung N, so meron kang distance over time, so sakto, no? Spot speed, speed is just the distance over time. So, Parang ganun pa rin yung nangyari. Pero anyway, uh, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. Okay, so dito, solve natin yung problem na lumabas nung CE board exam, November 2004. So, two sets of students are collecting traffic data of two section A and B. Of a highway, 200 meter apart, observation at A shows that 5 vehicles passes that section at interval of 8.18 seconds, seconds 9.0.9 seconds 10.23 seconds 11.68 seconds and 13.64 seconds respectively if the speed of the vehicles were 80, 72, 64, 56 and 48 km per hour respectively so compute the density of traffic in vehicles per kilometer Okay, so bali dito.
So, alam natin yung formula in solving for the uh, density of traffic or yung K is Diba yung unit nito is vehicles per kilometer. So, by dimensional analysis, number of vehicles, so vehicles yan, yan yung kilometer which is yung distance. So, yung number of vehicles, uh, lima, no? Lima yung dumadaan. And then, yung distance ng highway is uh, 200 meter. Kasi, yung ino-observe nila, ino nila is yung section A, yung, bali yung starting point, tsaka yung end point is B. So, yung distance daw in between ng A and B is 200 meter apart. So, dyan yung nire-record nila na. So, yan yung magiging distance. So, meron tayong 5 vehicles divided by 200 meters. Gusto niya kilometer eh. So, ibig sabihin, uh, 1,000 meters is 1 kilometer. So, cancel out, cancel out. So, yung matitira is meron na tayong uh, 5 divided by Uh, 5 divided by 200 divided by 1,000. Ayan. So, meron tayong 25 vehicles per kilometer. So, we have 25 vehicles per kilometer. And, yan na yung sagot. Next. Ano daw yung time means speed in kph? Time mean means mm -hmm. Okay, so bali yung kinukumpute natin dito yung yung ito no, yung arithmetic mean. Di ba? Ito yan. Yung spot speed. So ito lang yung formula. So, just U. Okay? So, U, average, is just summation of individual U divided by the number of vehicles. So, alam natin yung mga spot speed are given in kph and unit in kph. So, you have 80, 72, 64. So, we have 80 plus 72 plus 64 plus 56 plus 48 divided by the number of vehicles which is 5 so kung compute natin yan so meron tayong value dito na uh, wait lang we have 80 plus 72 plus 64 80, 72, 64 56 and 58 56 and 58 58 48 divided by the number of terms or number of vehicles 64 so we have 64 kph 64 kph so ito na yung Sagot. Okay, next. Uh, ano naman daw yung uh, sp space means speed in kph? Okay, so meron siyang binigay dito na time. Okay, so yun na lang yung gagamitin natin. Okay, so space means speed. So, kung babalikan natin yung formula sa space means speed, uh, meron tayong tatlong scenario, no? Then, yung nakikita natin sa problem is uh, dalawa yung given, no? Uh, given yung time. Tsaka yung mga spot speeds. Diba? Ito spot speeds, no? Ah, yung speed. No? Ayun na yun. Speed of vehicles. So, may kita mo dito na yung time is nagvavary, no? And then, yung Phoenix lang talaga nila dito is yung distance nung between E and V. 
which is yung 200 meters. So, ibig sabihin, based dito sa formula, ito mala, uh, ito malabo to, no? kasi hindi pa bago-bago yung time. Basta yung given dito is yung constant, is yung distance. For a given time of travel, so nakikita mo dito na yung constant dito na part is yung distance. Diba? Bali, fix yung distance niya nanti. And dito naman, fix yung time. No? So, fix yung time. And dito sa spot speed, kung matitignan mo, 1 over n. So, or yung spot speed. Bali, yung fix natin dito is yung uh, time. Okay? So, sa spot speed is finifix natin yung time. Ito is distance. Ito is time. Okay? So, since uh, dito, pabago-bago yung, ano, uh, tawag yan, yung time. So, hindi natin pwede gamitin to. Kasi mostly sa, ano, uh, sa mga problem na kung saan kukunin mo yung spacement speed, gamit yung spot speed, yung period or yung time is fix yan. So, bali, yung gagamitin natin is yung time. Okay? Gagamitin natin is yung time. So, ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. Ito. Okay? So, yan yung gagamitin natin na formula for the spacement speed. Subset ko na lang yan dito na. And then, so, bali dito yung distance is 200 meters. Diba? Uh, gusto nyo naka-kilometer eh. So, change ko na lang agad na no? para di na ako mag-convert-convert mag pa. No? So, I have 200 meters. And in 1 kilometer, that is 1,000 meters. All over yung time. No? So, yung time natin dito is 8 and seconds. No? So, 8.18 seconds. Gusto nyo naka-R. So, bali, di ba? In 60 seconds, that is 1 minute. And 60 minutes is 1 hour. So, bali, divide na lang natin siya ng 3,600. Okay, so we have 8.18 all over 3,600 plus 9.09 3,600 10.23 3,600 11.68 3,600 and then 13.64 is 3,600. Ayan na. So, divide ko na ito. So, bali yung masasagot ko nito is automatic kilometer per per hour. So, computing ko muna. So, I have uh, 200 divided by 1,000 all over yung 8.18 all over 3,600 plus 9.09 divided by 3,600 and then 10.23 all over 3,600 and then 11.68 all over 3,600 plus 13.64 all over 3,600 so we have uh, 1 average okay. so kailangan average wala na so, divide ko pa ito ng divide ko pa ito ng number of yun so, divide ko pa ito ng number of ah, di sya kasya okay ah, 
Uh, divide ko muna to ng 5. Start ko muna sa A. Okay, and then yung 200 divided by 100. Divide ko na lang ng alpha A. So, I have 68.156. 68.156. Point one five six so on six na lang kph okay so that's it ayan na so I hope klaro tayo dito so yung time yung gagamitin natin kasi yung phoenix natin dito is yung distance okay so I hope klaro tayo dyan okay so see you in the next video thank you